What's up everyone, 3 d print 747 here, back again with another video. Um, it doesn't sound like it, but the Cobra 2 Max is actually turned on and the fan on the bottom is running. Listen to how quiet this is. That's amazing. This thing sounded like a jet flying through my office when the old fan was in. I replaced the fan with a Noctua 92 millimeter. Um, let me uh, get the box here. Right there. Um, on Amazon, I'll uh, put links in the description and I will put a link to the video on how to replace the fan. I think I spent 25 bucks on the fan and 12 bucks on the step down unit you have to step the voltage down from 24 volts to 12 volts because the fan uh here is a 12 volt fan and the fan that was in the the original fan was a 24 volt so you have to step down the fan oh there's a screw and then you also have to print some feet because the you can see under there. The case for the new fan is a little, uh, it sticks out a little bit. And then also on top of that, and here's where you gotta be really careful. The step down right there, if you touch that voltage, you get shocked. So you gotta be careful. I'm gonna look at um, probably uh, modeling a case around that Right now, I just attached it with hot glue, but that's going in. Uh, the fan is running pretty uh, nice, but really, really super quiet. Like I couldn't even uh, print during meetings at work because the thing was just so loud, but this fan takes care of that. So I'm gonna put everything down in the description. Um, the fan that uh, I used, the step down unit, and you'll need to get just some small 22 gauge wire. You probably have some laying around your house maybe. Uh, and that's all you need. And then you'll print the fan housing. And listen to this, man. That is amazing to me. Like why wouldn't any cubic just do that right off the bat? Instead of having the jet engine fan in there making it like so loud, like so obnoxiously loud. It's crazy. So let me go ahead and I'll uh, get this video uploaded and I will put a link in the description. I think I'm gonna print something first to make sure that there's no issues um, heat wise and all that stuff. And then I'll put this video up. So I'll report back once the print's done. All right, since I had this thing on its side, I'm gonna go ahead and do a calibration but you can still hear how much quieter it is than what it was before. Listen for a second. If you have a Cobra 2 Max, you'll probably want to do this upgrade as well. So check this out. That's super quiet. All right, after calibration, I'm gonna print a quick bracket that attaches to the visor of your car and holds sunglasses. Uh, we'll see how it turns out. Back in a bit. Okay, so the print just finished and I thought that the AnyCubic showed how long the print took, but for some reason it's not showing up here. So I gotta look into this more. I'm not real familiar with this interface. Um, I need to just do some more research on it and do some reading. But anyway, the print finished. This is just a real quick uh, visor clip. It goes over the visor and then your sunglasses slide in here so you can keep your sunglasses up on top of your visor. I just wanted to print something with the new fan to make sure that it didn't overheat and make sure that everything looked good. Um, I think, like I said, I did the calibration beforehand and 
I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. So, yeah. So I'll put the links in the description below. Please hit the like button if you like these videos. Um, I'm seeing like two and 300 views and like four likes. And YouTube is like, nope, kiss my butt. I'm not spreading the word because nobody likes your stuff. So if you like it, if you enjoy what you're seeing, um, please let me know by hitting that like button and I'll continue making stuff like this. Uh, probably gonna do a helmet on here. Maybe Ant-Man um, in, uh, in the real near future. One thing that um, I don't like doing is editing my videos and doing retakes and talking five times until I get it right. So you'll hear the blah, blah, blah and me screwing up, but that's just me being human. Um, but I like the way this sounds. Listen to that. You can't even hear that thing. That's amazing. I'm so happy with this uh, modification. And it took maybe 40 minutes taking my time watching the video at the most. So I'm gonna put all the links in the description and let me know if you guys do it and what you think. One other thing is I tried to send the print from any cubic slicer over to here over Wi-Fi and I couldn't find a way to do it. And people are saying that you can do it. If you all know how to do that, let me know because I'm getting sick of the uh, USB thing that I have to pull out and put over in my computer and plug it back in. I mean, it's not 19 or 2019 rather. See, I would have edited that if I was doing that, but it's not 2019, 2020 where I'm using my Ender 3s and sliding back and forth between my computer and the printer to put a USB stick in. I'm ready to let this thing go full Wi-Fi and send prints over so I don't have to deal with this BS. All right, guys, um, please make sure to hit that like button, share it if you have anybody that would be interested, and if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Have a good weekend.